day the Geechee is gone, boy. And you going with it. We can't let nobody go on believing we all fools like you. You're saying that there are there were Native Americans that look like they're Africans. Yes. Already in this country. Yes. And there's there's statues and all kinds of shit to prove it. But even in South America, like look at some of the statues, the old necks, all that type of shit. These motherfuckers have African features, not Hispanic, not Indian, African. Picture that. For so long. Look at animals, like for example, when you look at giraffes, like clearly a giraffe is built a certain type of way because its so it food can get, source right. is at a certain height. So right, but guess what? The, the animal, the reason why over time it went because The animal saw, okay, the food is up there. So it started thinking, how do I get to the food? You ain't paid and your grade is incomplete. Not just because it's there and the food is up there, so automatically it's going to be tall. The, 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 the animal started... Not just because it's there and the food is up there, so automatically it's going to be tall. The, 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 the animal started thinking, how do I get to the food? And the mind is what now transformed the body over time. First of all, we must internalize the flatulation of the matter by transmitting the effervescence of the Indonesian proximity in order to further segregate the crux of my venereal infection. <laughs> Through needs. You see what I'm saying? So, so now... Damn, if I only was, you know what I mean? That Now that thought goes into your DNA and it goes on to the next and the next and the next. And now you eventually get certain modification and that gets longer over time. And boom, now they're up there to be able to get the motherfucking whatever the fuck it is they eat up in them high ass trees. <laughs> The theory of evolution was developed by Charles Darwin Bleh. and published in his book On the Origin of Species. He explained that natural selection is a process behind evolution. Charles Darwin developed his theories after his adventures upon the HMS Beagle. In his travels, he observed that creatures found on the islands he visited were similar to ones found on the mainland, but appeared to be slightly different. It wasn't until he returned home that he came to the conclusion that species are specially modified to their environments. And that's why they differ. He developed four conditions explaining why this happens. Darwin's theory of natural selection by descent with modification is testable and observable fact. Experiments have been conducted in the wild and in labs. Let's dive deeper into Darwin's four conditions. Condition number one. Individuals within a population differ. There are features that differ within populations of the same animal. In our case, the feature that varies between our giraffes is neck length. Some giraffes were born with long necks, some were born with short necks. Condition number two. The differences are, at least in part, passed from parents to offspring. 
Darwin's descent with modification is the idea that offspring are fairly similar to their parents with some genetic differences. Condition number three, some individuals are more successful at surviving and reproducing than others. In the case of our giraffes, the long neck individual did not acquire its neck by stretching to grab the leaves. Instead, individuals within the population were born with the neck length that was longer than others. Because the longer neck allowed them to reach the food that was otherwise unattainable, it gave them an advantage. Condition number four. The successful individuals succeed because of variant traits they have inherited and will pass on to their offspring. Mark, mark. Giraffes with the longer neck advantage are in better health and able to pass this feature to their offspring. Because this trait is more successful than shorter necks, more individuals in the population have it. Over time, this process can result in populations that specialize for particular environments and may eventually result in emergence of new species. In other words, natural selection is an important process, though not the only process, by which evolution takes place within a population of organisms. Let's review. Individuals within a population differ. The differences are, at least in part, passed from parents to offspring. Some individuals are more successful at surviving and reproducing than others. Excuse me. The successful individuals succeed because of variant traits they have inherited and will pass on to their offspring. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>